Hey guys, this is Lister here and this is going to be a short overclocking guide on what software you would use to monitor while you are stress testing and what programs to use to stress test. Uh, first program is CPUZ. Gives you everything on your computer information wise. Faults for your processor, core speed, uh, technology, mainboard, what slots your RAM is, what speed it's running at and your graphics card core shaders and memory uh, as you can see I'm running 4.5 gigahertz on an i5 uh, basically it's a must have for overclocking the second program is real temp it's a temperature monitoring program but it also gives you your wattage and your VID which is used for your offset and your BIOS when you're overclocking uh, it can be used to put your temperatures into your taskbar or your mini bar, I don't know what you call it. It's really helpful as you can see stress testing max 60 using Intel burn test but yeah it's a brilliant program but I think it only works for Intel. Uh, another program for temperature is HW monitor and it gives you everything from fan speeds to hard drive temperatures the voltages as you can see works for your uh, graphics card everything uh, these are both made by CPU ID and real temp you can get here I'll put the link in the description at the moment it's a beta I'm using because it's been updated for i5 i7 and stuff like that if you're using AMD wise you can use core temp it works for Intel and AMD it gives you your VID as well your frequency min max for your processor cores and also your watts but the watts don't think work as I was getting five and a half thousand watts on my processor the next bit will be showing what programs to use for stress testing my personal preference is Intel burn test which I would run on maximum for ten runs and yeah as you'll see is my hype or speed step dropping it down to times 16 multiplier but when I hit this I'll stick it on one mega RAM you're going to want to test it on maximum this works for Intel and AMD obviously hit maximum and just hit start make sure you have your thread selected and how many runs I usually do maximum 10 runs with four threads obviously and I just if it completes a 10 it's going to be pretty stable so as you can see temperatures rise like mad Intel burn test is very very CPU stressful and over other uh, stress testing programs it gives you about 10% increase over temperatures the next as you can see it gives you time speed and result my speed is way slower than what it usually is due to the fact that I'm recording and everything second program is prime 95 so what I would usually do is 10 runs of Intel stress Intel burn test at maximum if it passes them all I would run prime, prime 95 for at least 8 hours if it runs 8 hours with no blue screen to death or anything uh, I'd say that is about stable for gaming and everything you'll be fine uh, as you can see an Intel burn test by the time oh is that started <laughs> alright well that's apparently starting some what you're gonna do is go to options torture test blend as it tests everything four threads obviously it'll usually find it for you and just start as you can see the temperatures are only hitting about 50 and in Intel burn test I was hitting 61 on my third core so Intel burn test is way more stressful than any game or rendering you're going to use yeah just run that tells you what time your workers start leave it overnight say get up in the morning and if it's still going 
then your CPU is going to be pretty stable and you just go to test stop and that's it so guys hope you enjoyed this video hope it helps for anyone who's overclocking and I hope you get good overclock. Slister out.